yeah, you see it, that's really her. Miss Tila Tequila here in the Rise and Kings booth at SEMA. How you doing? I'm Vietnamese, but I was born in Singapore. We all work together as a family at the flea market and go to work from 6 to 6 p.m. At school, I was really popular and I had lots of friends, and, you know, but nobody really knew that I was really poor. During those times, we also lived in this Buddhist community very private and very strict rules. Um, we were only allowed to wear blue or white, long sleeve only. We weren't, weren't allowed to wear anything showing skin. People had arranged marriages, so you couldn't really date people either unless you were told to marry this person or that person. I mean, this is not the normal Buddhist community. This was actually a cult. One day I was riding my bike around the gated community there is this gate, and then beyond the gates, there's like these trees. Beyond the trees, it was like a school and kids on the other side playing. And I, I, I remember a moment of me standing there, looking outside the gates, and just wishing so badly that I could discover what the real world was like out there. And my sister, my brother, and I just got together and told my parents, "Look, we have to leave this place." as soon as possible. After years of working the swap meet, they saved up enough money to move us into a, a middle-class neighborhood. And the first thing I did when I moved into this house, while they were moving this stuff in, I got my bike and I, me and my sister, my sister and I, we just rode around the entire neighborhood, didn't know where we were going, but it felt so liberating and so free. And, and I, I remember seeing all the trees in the neighborhood. And then that's when I started, you know, doing other stuff growing up because that's not where the problems ended, you know. There was constantly problems within the personal family life that reflected on my social life and life at school. I decided to move out of my parents' house when I turned 18. I knew that I didn't belong in Houston. I knew that I deserved a better life for myself. I knew for a fact that I wanted to be in the entertainment industry. I wanted to shine and that's when I I saved up money for that entire year and I saved up enough money for me to move out to Los Angeles, to Hollywood and chase my dreams. I started modeling and you know that's how I started building my fan base. Forever my fans have been my real friends. Right, now, um, I have a three bedroom house. I just got a Mercedes and I got all the things that I've always wanted in my life growing up when I saw other people have that I didn't get to have and it feels really good because I I paid for it all myself and I worked for every single penny and you know t sometimes things will get really hard but I just kept going. My music's finally coming out in February 2007 and I'm just really excited now because this is totally my sound and I just can't wait to put it out there and start performing and meeting all my fans and finally, you know, being a musician like like I've always dreamed. All this stuff happening like Time Magazine, Rolling Stone, you know, being the it girl of all these the, the media, it's like, it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for my fans too. I just want to thank them for totally sticking by me and I hope you guys will stand by me when the music comes out and hopefully you guys will check it out because everything I do, I do for you. <laughs> and I hope you guys keep coming back to check out what's going on with Tila.